And and uh, hello everyone and good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Rui Huang uh, from AMD Linux team and focus on the uh, Linux kernel enabling work on the CPU power management and the GPU kernel DRM graphics compute support for many years. And this is my first time to present discussion in the Linux Primo conference. Uh, so uh, it's my great honor uh, to have the opportunity to discuss uh, with all of you uh, about fine green uh, frequency control with the kernel governor. And the main discussion module uh, is the new MDP state driver uh, that we are upstream early of this year. Uh, we are using a fine grain uh, frequency control mechanism uh, instead of traditional several p states <clears throat> this is a new policy uh, in our uh, md processor platforms and we found uh, and we also found quite a few problems uh, with the new policy and uh, we have some additional we also have some additional hardware level functionalities uh, uh, which need to find a good way to support it in the linux kernel as well so uh, we uh, so I would like to uh, raise the discussion and uh, and the question here uh, in the Linux Primo conference for talk. So thank you uh, so much for any suggestions and comments. Okay, move to the background. Uh, in Lexi, uh, uh, in Lexi processors, uh, uh, we, uh, which we will support ACPI standardized. Uh, it will provide several P states, such as the P0, P1, P2, and both state uh, to the OS kernel for the frequency management and according to the system workload in the traditional CPU pro processors. And uh, look at the, uh, this picture. Uh, we map three P states uh, in, uh, inside of this range, uh, but uh, these three P state P, P, P0, P1, P2, and also have the both state. And, but they are not fine grain. Um, but in recent MD CPU processors, uh, we, we support collaborative the processor power control. Uh, we call it CPPC. It is followed as ACPI standardized. <clears throat> and we also uh, do customize some uh, uh, MD specific functionalities as well. Uh, we, we, we have uh, four uh, uh, performance values, such as the highest perf, uh, nominal perf, and lowest, lowest nonlinear perf, and the, uh, and the lowest perf. So we map the highest perf as the uh, post frequency, and the nominal perf as the P0, and the lowest nonlinear perf as the P2, and the lowest performance as a minimal frequency uh, in in the system. And this is the comparing uh, with the ACPI uh, CPU freak and the MD, uh, MD state module, uh, MD, MDP state module. And the ACPI uh, CPU freak is using the 3P state, uh, which emulate it in the PSS uh, object in the ACPI table as system BIOS. So please look at uh, this table uh, down here. And the PSS object will have the frequency and the register entries uh, for the ACPI CPU freak driver. And, uh, uh, and recent, uh, re in recent, some uh, Zen 2 and the Zen 3 uh, processors, some of the Zen 2 and Zen 3 processors, we, uh, we, we will support CPPC and for MTP state driver. And there were two types of hardware implementations. Uh, one is the 4MSR solutions. Another is a shared memory solution. 4MSR, 4MSR solutions provides architected MSR set of CPPC level registers uh, to measure the performance hints, uh, which is the fast way to control the frequency updates. However, in shared memory solutions, uh, is that CPU only support a mailbox model uh, for CPPC register in the system memory. Uh, we have to map the system memory, uh, which share with the CPPC, and uh, use uh, use the kernel RC, RCU blocks to measure the synchronizations uh, with the way in the 
the kernel ACPI CPPC libraries. Okay, uh, MDP state is a fine grained processor, uh, fine grained performance control with the CPPC plus kernel governors. Uh, processors provide CPPC performance capabilities and controls in the kernel driver. And MDP state as a CPU freak driver, uh, you know, uh, is a new CPU freak driver, is able to control these interfaces with the kernel governors, uh, such as the scheduled hill, on demand, and something else, and so on. Uh, the initial driver is developed uh, on the four MSS processors uh, that we can get better performance per watt scaling in some of CPU benchmarks. However, uh, we still face some performance drop, uh, which compare with the Lexi ACPI CPU freak driver in the shared memory solution processors. So we uh, still use a uh, parameter and, and not enabled shared memory processor by default at this moment. Uh, the traditional kernel governors such as the on-demand schedule two and might not uh, for suitable for the fine grained frequency control uh, in our platform. So, because uh, there were uh, about 166. Um, right, right. Uh, you are still sh showing the, the title slide of, of your presentation. Is it intentional or is it? Sorry. Uh. Or, or is something not functioning? Oh, okay. So, so, so is is that a share my screen? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember just to share my screen. I also have two more minutes for this topic, like maybe yeah. three. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, okay. I I I can go quick. Uh, can, can you see the screen? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, and 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 there were there was uh 155 uh 255 uh performance state uh in the MDP state uh let's compare with only three ACPIP state and CPU uh and the CPU uh CFS schedule governor uh might not face more uh frequency performance change in the MDP state there is there is another reason let's the uh, Lexi ACPI uh, P state control in the PSS object uh, is actually the MSR register, which is faster than the shared memory uh, with the in the CPPC. So that's that's probably uh, a reason which uh, at at this moment the uh, MS uh, the MDP state driver is still uh, 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 as good as the ACPI. Uh, ACPI uh, CPU freak driver uh, in the shared memory processors. So we are try to seek uh, seeking and uh, enhance and optimize the kernel to implement the shared memory support uh, processors here. So that's the that's the uh, first uh, question for. Uh, for discussion, and another is uh, we were introduced the uh, energy performance uh, reference, and uh, and uh, in four days so we were support uh, uh, the energy performance reference to provide a hint to hardware if the driver want to bias towards the performance or energy the efficiency. Uh, but this feature is in uh, once the this feature is enabled, the design perf were inactive anymore. And uh, and currently, we 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 will provide four uh, OS profiles uh, uh, with the different uh, EPP hints, uh, uh, which they can control by user space manually and do the hardware based dynamic frequency management uh, in the hardware side. And but we would like to find a way to manage the max, minimal, and the EPP hint uh, with the kernel governors. So you know the current uh, kernel uh, doesn't have the way to manage the max and the minimal perf uh, so far. Yeah, let's the, uh, uh, the, the question so, so to- So they are controlled by user space via SSFS, right? That's why not. Yeah, 
Yes, right. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we have exhausted the time slot, so I suggest, you know, moving this discussion to the mailing list. And also, I saw that you have, uh, yeah, uh, you okay. have posted the patch set for for EPP con control interface, right? The to the mailing list, so we can we we can we we can continue the discussion there if yeah. needed. So, yeah, because we yeah. have one more topic that I would like to mention, and we have five minutes left, so oh. let's just move over to there to to the offline discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, okay, that let's quick finish the last uh, page. One minute. Or, or just to switch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. And, uh, no, let, and let, let, let's let's think. Let you know. Let's synchronize on the mailing list because we also have a uh, preferred course on Intel on Intel processors, and we already support them. So it would be good to to get you know to synchronize on this too. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and we, as I said, we have one more topic.